The Maggie 60% keyboard. Cop or drop? Hi guys, it's your boy Mr. K back with another video. Today we'll be reviewing the Maggie 60% gaming keyboard. We'll be sectioning We'll be sectioning this video into four parts: specs, pros, cons, and then my overall conclusion. But before we get into that, let's go into the reason you're all here: the sound test. Now, let's get into the specs of this device. Starting off with the price of this amazing keyboard is priced at £41, which is pretty decent for a gaming keyboard in 2022. It's a 60% keyboard, as you guys can probably tell from the title and thumbnail, so it is smaller. And because of that, the keys are less spaced out. So there is actually 68 keys on this keyboard. I know, I didn't count them myself. Um, and they're actually pretty equally spaced out, which is pretty nice. It's a wired keyboard, so you will need to consistently always have the wire in so it actually works, not like a wireless keyboard. It weighs 566 grams, so it does have quite a lot of weight to it in comparison to other keyboards, but it is relatively light. Like, it does have quite a little bit of weight to it, but it's not too much where it just becomes weird and unnecessary but yeah let's get into the pros as i said before it's almost perfectly spaced out when i'm playing games or anything like that i never misclick i usually use wasd and when i'm pressing w i never misclick s or e or q or anything like that they're actually pretty spaced out and i have pretty thin fingers but really and truly anyone shouldn't be misclicking but then again i don't know how fat you guys' fingers really are but even when typing essays at school, spelling mistakes and anything like that with this keyboard are minimal at most. So that is actually quite nice. The lights is another positive about this device and a real make or break it for any keyboard sometimes because the lights are pretty clear. They're not too annoying like RGB heaven. It's not too much. It's pretty clear. It's a nice blue. You can adjust the brightness depending on your mood, but it's a nice color and I like it quite a lot, especially when I was actually new to a PC. Everyone's seen the video. If not, go watch it. But I was new to PC, I came to PC like three months ago and I was consistently looking at the keyboard while gaming or while writing an essay for example because I'm still pretty new to keyboards. So when I was doing late night essays or late night gaming I was always looking down and I wasn't struggling to see because every single key was lit up so I didn't need to struggle or turn a torch on or anything like that which just wastes time and ruins the flow of my game or work. So that's pretty nice and I have seen some nasty keyboards that have nasty rainbow coloured flashing lights, rubbish. That's just so annoying. I don't think I could deal with a keyboard like this. But this is pretty decent. I like the lights quite a lot. The next positive is the fact that it's well built. The design is pretty sturdy. I shake it and don't hear any rattling. Well, I do, but that's because the flaps are up. I shake it and I don't hear any rattling because that's because everything's secure and sturdy. I don't feel like anything's going to drop out, which is a fantastic. If you do want to remove a key, there is a tool that comes with it. If you need to remove a key, anything like that, and it does come with a spare key, but I think it is only for escape. But that is also a nice feature if you do want to change your keycaps. I don't feel like wasting money, but if you're into that, fantastic. Go crazy. But it's well built, nothing feels like it's going to fall out and let's say you do drop it on the floor, it's going to be perfectly fine. Don't recommend testing that, but it's going to be fine. I'm 95% sure. And speaking of the overall keyboard build, the little flaps that come out, the kickstands, give it a nice elevation. It's pretty nice and it gives a nice elevation when my hand's not consistently rubbing on the table it's a little bit up which is also a nice feature to have unfortunately it's not as high as i would like it but it's still a decent height for the price you're actually paying so be appreciative of what you got i guess but now let's have one final talk about the actual keys of this device they're pretty sensitive i've never had a time where i've pressed and it's never actually registered at all like i've always press it 
makes the sound and I actually go in the direction. So it's not a case where I press it and absolutely nothing happens. But now, speaking of nothing happens, let's get into the negatives of this device. I've had this keyboard for three months. So explain to me why I'm already having problems. When I'm playing Valorant, for example, I press W, so I'm expecting to walk forward. Then it stops, but my finger's still on W. So it's having input errors. This is around the three month mark. It started happening last week. It's become a little bit more continuous. It's slowed down a little bit, but it's still something that happens more than enough to be just a one-off occurrence. So this is a big no-no for me and a big worry since I've changed nothing in the last three months. I don't know if I meant to dust my keyboard, but they didn't recommend that in the box but it's only been three months and I'm already experiencing errors. So that's a big red flag for me to start off with. And if you're really considering purchasing devi this device, I would say be very wary of this because I'm not the only one that has this problem. I have actually seen other reviews with the same problem. So it's definitely a red flag right there. Another problem with this device, and it's a big one, there's no hashtag. So every time I want to go on hashtag, I need to go on Google and copy and paste a hashtag. I may be stupid, I may have had this keyboard for three months and not found the hashtag, but you guys can take a look. And if you find hashtag, put in the comments. But me personally, it's not on this keyboard. And it's caused a lot of problems when I'm adding people in Discord or when I'm adding people in Valorant, because I need the flipping hashtag and it's not there. So... That's just annoying, isn't it? And one just slight negative, for the price range you're paying, there are better sounding keyboards. So if you're primarily here for just the sound, you can get much better ones for a similar price range. But nevertheless, it's time for the conclusion. In conclusion, I wouldn't recommend this device, but that's only because of the fact that W key is having input issues and the A and the D occasionally but it's mainly the W key that's having most of the issues and I'm getting annoyed. So it is a great build, it is high quality, but I would say you're playing a little bit of Russian roulette if you're actually buying this keyboard because you might have the same problem I do. But anyway, that was my review. Please consider liking, subscribing, supporting the channel. The goal for the end of the year is 500 subscribers. I hope you can reach this mark. Thanks for the support guys and yeah, bye.